Hello guys, Zan Jai and welcome back to a new video in which we are going to talk about the OnePlus 60 after 5 months. What's good, what's bad, what's right, what's wrong with the OnePlus 60 as well as what are my expectations from OnePlus 7. Without further delay, let's get started with our first point and that's going to be the gaming performance because I used the OnePlus 60 heavily to play PUBG. PUBG on the OnePlus 60 is a blessing. On smooth and extreme settings, you will receive 60 FPS. I know one of the major argument is going to be I have Poco F1 with Snapdragon 845 processor and I get 60 FPS as well. I tested Poco F1's FPS as well and the average FPS ranged anywhere from 45 to 55 FPS but it was not constantly at 60 FPS. Whereas average FPS on OnePlus 60 was 58 or 59 after playing lot of matches. The only other device which I played PUBG on which gave me 60 FPS constantly was the Asus ROG phone which will cost you a bomb. Poco F1, Vivo Nex, all these devices with Snapdragon 845 are very good. 50 FPS is not bad but 60 FPS is the best and you should have that and you will get that on the OnePlus 60. And this is how I got chicken dinner in this match which I shot specifically for this video. And these are some of the average FPS graphs of OnePlus 60 after playing PUBG for about 20 to 30 minutes depending on how long the match was. After this now let's talk about the dash charging because if you are playing PUBG and if the battery drops to let's say around 30% at 12.1 the battery was at 37% and at 12.42 the battery was at 94% meaning in 40 minutes the battery was charged by 60% which is fantastic thanks to the dash charging which is present on the regular OnePlus 60. I tested it on regular OnePlus 60. If you buy the McLaren edition then you will get 30 watts of warp charging which will be most probably present with the OnePlus 7 as well. With the 20 watt dash charging I was able to charge 60% in about 40 minutes which is fantastic and that's what I like about OnePlus devices. I never have to worry about charging the OnePlus device whenever I'm using the OnePlus 60 or any other OnePlus device for that matter because those get charged quickly much faster than Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 or 4.0. With the latest warp charger which may launch with OnePlus 7, I'll do a detailed comparison of that as well. Third thing which I like about the OnePlus 60 is the camera. With the OnePlus 6 and 60, camera game has improved a lot on OnePlus devices. And with the OnePlus 60 which is their best device yet, it's fantastic. Details are very good. Color science is also pretty good with the normal stock camera application on the OnePlus 60. If you ask me to click pictures with OnePlus 60, these are some of the sample shots which I clicked, uh, which do not look that fancy. So that's why I borrowed a few photo samples from my friend Rija, who has the OnePlus 60 as well and she is a photographer. And these are some of the sample shots that she clicked with the OnePlus 60. I'm going to show the original photo as well as the edited version of that photo so that uh, you can understand how the photo changed afterwards. Obviously, I know that you can edit photos on any device, but I just wanted to show that because I had access to edited photos as well. These photos look fantastic and thanks to Richa for letting me use her photos in this particular video. You can follow her on Instagram at the rate Richa XC. Her Instagram profile link is present in the description box below as well. A dedicated night mode is present on the OnePlus 60 as well and here is a comparison with normal photo and the night mode sample. One major factor because of which I added camera in the reasons why I like the OnePlus 60 is because of the Google camera APK which can be installed immediately on the OnePlus 60 without unlocking the bootloader or without rooting it. How to find the best APK for your OnePlus 60 is going to be the biggest question and that's why I'm going to leave a link of XDA thread in the description box below from where you can download the latest APK which will be the most stable and which will click the best photos on your device as well. The OP keeps on updating the thread so you do not have to worry about that. And these are some of the sample shots clicked with Google camera by me on uh, OnePlus 60 and that's why you are looking at some regular buildings which you see in other videos as well. Obviously Google camera improves a lot of stuff. Portrait mode in selfie camera looks fantastic over here as compared to the stock camera as well. Night sight is godlike with Google camera which can be used on the device. Here is a comparison between Google's night sight and OnePlus's night mode. Obviously Google's night sight with that software optimization works fantastic and here you do not even have to worry about Google camera crashing or something like that because it's one of the most stable Google camera experience that you'll get on a device with the OnePlus 60. Snapdragon 845 combined with 6GB or 8GB of RAM performs fantastically. One of the major factors because of which the performance or day-to-day -day life performance is great on this device is Oxygen OS. It is very well optimized for day-to-day -day life usage using multiple apps at the same time. Even if you are playing PUBG and if you switch between multiple apps at the same time while you are playing the game, 
I mean, you can't really play the game while switching. But if you switch between applications, the device does not lag, or you do not get that feeling. Oh my God, the device is dropping frames or something like that. And that's an advantage that you get with OnePlus 60, which you may not get with other flagship devices as well. Oxygen OS is optimized to the best. And if you do not have a limit on budget and you want a best performing device, which will perform exactly same even after two years, because this device is performing the same after five months, OnePlus 5, which I have with my brother is performing the same even after a couple of years, then OnePlus 60 is the device to go if performance is your topmost priority in my opinion. Gaming is already godlike as I mentioned earlier in this video. Performance is fantastic. OS is optimized, but when I try to unlock the device with my fingerprint sensor, it is getting unlocked very quickly now, but that's not the case every single time. Sometimes it may take one or two seconds to get unlocked. And this is the first generation of optical fingerprint sensor, which is present on the OnePlus 60. Considering first generation, I'm not going to complain much, but I obviously expected a little bit better fingerprint sensor performance out of it. And due to the slowness, I missed the rear facing uh, fingerprint sensor, which was present on OnePlus 60, which is still present on OnePlus 60 which was blazing fast and I hope it will be fixed with the OnePlus 7's uh, second generation optical fingerprint sensor or maybe ultrasonic fingerprint sensor if they decide to add that. But the face unlock feature is fantastic and I ended up using face unlock feature most of the times the device is locked right now I look at it the device gets unlocked immediately. It's way faster than fingerprint sensor sometimes it doesn't even show you the lock screen if I'm looking at the device no lock screen will be shown. The device gets unlocked with face unlock feature. One of the fastest face unlock feature that you can see right now. That's because the camera is present over here in the notch format. Now let's talk about a couple of things which I missed on the OnePlus 60. First one is going to be headphone jack, obviously. You must have heard every tech reviewer complaining that why is the headphone jack removed from the OnePlus 60? I am in that gang as well. But then just to see what people think, I asked five of uh, my friends who have OnePlus 60. Some of them were not really my friends, friends of friends whom I met in real life. I asked them, what do you think about the missing headphone jack on the OnePlus 60? Two of them said that we use Bluetooth earphones, so it doesn't really matter. So the question was out of syllabus for them. One friend said that dongle they tear box me. I use that. She was like, okay, I don't really care. Headphone jack, hey, nahi hai. it didn't really matter for them. And two friends did not give any answer. They were like, oh, what? They were confused. And when I asked them specifically, do you use the dongle which was provided in the box? They said yes. So basically, for a common man who is not a techie, not having a headphone jack may not matter. But for someone like me who is a techie and keeps switching between earphones and headphones, not having a headphone jack, I surely miss that. And I hope, even though it's not gonna happen, I'm still going to hope that OnePlus 7 brings back the headphone jack. Second thing which I missed was the internal audio recording because PUBG runs at 60 FPS. I used the OnePlus 60 to play PUBG on and I cannot record the gameplays because it cannot record the internal audio. With OnePlus 7, if OnePlus fixes this issue, not fixing, actually if they add internal audio recording, which is already present on S10 Plus or other high-end devices, that would be fantastic. Then I can record the gameplays on the device itself and then I can show them to you directly without using the camera to record that particular gameplay. With OnePlus 60, OnePlus removed the 64 GB internal storage variant. Apple, if you are watching this video, you can learn something. 1 lakh rupees so 64 GB is not enough. 128 GB is the least standard in 2019. iPhone 10s, 11s, whatever you name it, 128 GB minimum. Follow OnePlus. Yes. So what are my expectations from OnePlus 7? I mentioned a couple of them in this video itself. First one is going to be 30 watt fast charging or dash charging or warp charging to be precise. Then IP rating, if that's possible, IP67 or IP68 rating would be fantastic. Even if you dip your OnePlus 60 in water, most probably nothing will happen. I do not recommend doing this, but if OnePlus 7 comes with an IP rating, then I can easily jump into the swimming pool by holding the OnePlus 7, which I can't do with OnePlus 60 as of now. It's almost confirmed that OnePlus 7 will come with a pop-up camera. I do not want the face unlock speed to be reduced. The face unlock feature is blazing fast. I want a similar speed with OnePlus 7's pop-up camera as well. I am kind of sure that it will remain the same way, considering other companies who have launched devices with pop-up camera, the 
device unlocks pretty quickly over there as well. 4000 mAh battery is totally manageable. I think the biggest crossover that I'm expecting is headphone jack and OnePlus 7, which will most probably not happen, but still, you can always expect stuff from a brand. Wireless charging is something which is on the list of a lot of tech reviewers. I personally do not use wireless charging as of now, and wireless charging usually is little bit slow, like 10 watts or 15 watts, whereas with dash charging or warp charging of OnePlus 7, you will end up getting 30 watts. So any day wireless charging is going to be slower. So I'm, I'm not really expecting that. I won't complain if OnePlus 7 launches with wireless charging, but personally, I am okay if wireless charging is not there. And I guess that's pretty much it for this particular video. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified next time I upload a new video like this one. If you still have any more doubts, sessions or queries regarding the OnePlus 60, do let me know about that in the comment section box below. I'll be more than glad to answer your queries. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.